Uh, a triple game week has just been announced. Let's not hang about, let's get straight into it. So what is up everyone? As I said in the intro and as you may have seen, we have just had a triple game week announcement. I'm recording about five minutes after it being announced. I haven't done graphics. I'm just going to talk you all through what's happened, what you need to do with your teams and what you need to be planning for sort of game week 35 and game week 36 onwards. So as you can see there, the spreadsheet from Ben Krellen over on Twitter, go and check him out if you don't already follow him. I'm sure you already do and have seen this spreadsheet. But what has happened is the Manchester United Liverpool game that we weren't sure whether it was going to go into game week 36, whether it was going to go into game week 35 and other fixtures were moved around, was just added into game week 35 and no other fixtures moved. So what this means is Manchester United now have a triple game week. So they play three times in game week 35 and Liverpool now have a double game week of Southampton and Manchester United in game week 35. And Liverpool then have a single game week in game week 36 as always planned and Manchester United then have a single game uh, have a blank game week in game week 36 they don't play so Manchester United effectively have three games across those two game weeks the same as the likes of Liverpool Southampton Everton Crystal Palace and Aston Villa for those of you on free hits like myself triple Man United is essential Bruno Fernandes is fairly essential if you are not on a free hit I would still advise having a minimum of two Manchester United assets I would probably go with three now the reason I'm not saying definitely go with three is with three matches they may not play every single game week and then they blank in game week 36 so if having triple Manchester United on top of having Leicester or Chelsea assets for example means you can't put out 11 players in game week 36 then potentially don't take hits to get that third Manchester United asset in. However, if you have none or one, I would definitely think about adding to it. Aston, Vis Aston Villa, Leicester, Liverpool. I expect there to be goals from a Manchester United point of view and clean sheets potentially for the likes of Luke Shaw. It's a big surprise. I don't think we've had a triple game week for the past two seasons or even longer than that, three, four seasons. So it is worth attacking. Bruno Fernandes' ownership will be crazily high. It will be sort of 200% around like we saw with Kane the other week. On my free hit, the players that I'm definitely going to be looking to target are Fernandes, Luke Shaw, and then one of Greenwood and Rashford, depending on who plays in the Europa League on Thursday night. I think it's worth waiting to make your transfers to see who starts in that match on Thursday, because the players who don't start are more likely to be able to play in all three of those matches. I think it's unlikely that many players potentially play in all three, especially the likes of Luke Shaw when he can rate, rotate with Tellez. If Dan James is back from injury, then he can rotate with Greenwood. However, if they aren't playing on Thursday, it really increases their chances of playing all three. So wait until that match is out of the way. The other one to talk about is Liverpool. So a lot of you will have probably two or so Liverpool players in your team. Again, probably worth adding to that and making sure you've got three in your team. The reason for this is they now have a double game week in game week 35, like the rest of them. So they're really worth owning. But they also have a really nice run of fixtures afterwards. So West Brom, Burnley and Crystal Palace. So now is a perfect time to be buying into double, triple Liverpool if you don't already do so. So Salah, Trent are the two that I go with at the moment. Um, I think you can then add onto that the likes of Robertson, Mane, Jota. All three of them, I think, are good options. I think there'll be rotation between Mane, Jota, Firmino for the rest of the season. Whereas if you want one to play every single week, then Robertson is your man. But all three of them make good assets. Mane is a little bit more expensive, so you may not want to go for him. But Jota and Robertson are definitely good assets. Now, potentially some of you may be having a look at your team and thinking, OK, I've got Arsenal or Chelsea assets or even Leicester assets. Is it worth me moving them? To Liverpool or Manchester United players 
I think the answer is yes if you're not on your free hit, particularly towards Man well, both of the Manchester United and Liverpool because of that run Liverpool have and into Manchester United. So I think from those two teams, if you're not on a free hit, you really want at least five of their assets. So the likes of Rashford, Greenwood, Fernandes, Luke Shaw, and then Trent, Salah, Mane, Robertson, Jota in, in from Liverpool. So I'm, I mean, I've I've spoken a little bit about it. It was just a bit of a call to action for you all that this has happened. It's a big change to what we've ever seen. We've now got a triple game week. The games will come thick and fast. So it is worth remembering that you need to pick the most nailed ones, but they're probably only going to start two of the three games anyway, if you go for some of those maybe less central players. So the likes of Edison Cavani up front for Manchester United, if he's fit, he's probably going to start two of them. And that's potentially very good for returns from what we've seen from him. So another asset that you could think about earning. But that is the triple game week. Make sure to go and check out Ben Krellen over on Twitter. The blank game week 36 stays as it was, but that extra fixture added in to game week 35, now giving Manchester United a triple game week um, and giving Liverpool a double game week. Good luck in game week 35. I'm sure you've all got questions. Drop them in the comments down below about game week 35, game week 36. Your captain, if you've got your triple captain left, it is going on a Manchester United asset this season. It is going on it now. Don't leave it. And if you've got your bench boost, again, a great time to playing it. Good luck in game week 35. Let me know any questions and I will see you all next time.